Oh, Steve, uh, what's your feelings after that game? <sighs> tough game. I knew it was going to be a tough game before it, you know. They're on the crest of a wave, you know. Matt's done a really good job with them. And um, as you see at the moment, you know, top of the form table, they've, they've been flying, they've had some great results. Today was always going to be a tough game for us. And the first, the first part of the game, you could tell the team that was confident and in form, because we started a little bit scratchy, really, when you, when you look at today. But I think until you've ever been a player and understand probably where our players are at the moment, mentally um, and, and physically with the injuries that we've had, it's really, really difficult for them. So, you know, that's why I, I always ask for the, for the supporters to get behind them. It was a little bit quiet today. You know, it's been noisier than that. But it was a little bit quiet today. But I think that's also when they're seeing how the game is as well. And, you know, games are going to get like that between now and the end of the season. And we've just got to make sure that we keep the concentration high. But, you know, the, the boys really do need the supporters back in um, throughout the game. You said that they were going to have a quick start, Warsaw. They certainly did. And it, it did go to game plan, and it marshalling them away. Um, well, I, I didn't know whether I said that they were going to have a quick start or whether I hoped that we were going to have one, if you know what I mean. But, you know, it, it's about staying in the game. When everything's um, tough for you, what you have to do is you have to dig in even harder and you have to do all the horrible things. You have to win your headers. You have to make sure that you don't get done with cutbacks because that's been something that has, that has really knocked us back this season. But I think we've done really, really well. Um, in, in a period of time, I think the, the boys at the back have given us a good foundation to build off. Um, so yeah, you know, I think that I think they're all starting to, you know, certainly be a little bit more cohesive with each other. The Cante Reyes get the plaudits for the penalty save. Yeah. So at the beginning of the second half, the great one-on-one -on -one block as well. Yeah, no, it was a great save. I mean, he shouldn't have got in there really. I mean, it, it's funny because we didn't quite get the cover right. You know, Ryan has sort of crossed over a little bit. And Rich ends up going for it, and then all of a sudden, one header takes the pair of them out of the game. I mean, you know, Vinny, Vinny's been fantastic ever since he's been here. He's he's a great lad, and um, yeah, I mean, he, he will get some plaudits today, and, and rightfully so as well, by the way. So, you know, but like, it's always a team effort, and you know, there'll be other chances that we'll sort of add where we've got some fantastic blocks in today as well. So, they're a good team. I'm sure they'll do well, and that is a big, big win for us today. The goal is the first goal, and Christian Doyle, his hold up play. He's, yeah. He scored two goals when he stayed, but he hasn't scored since. But yeah. the work he's done on the pitch, everyone yeah. can see. Yeah, no, Christian's a, he's a great lad. You know, I mean, I thought that there was starting to get a good relationship together for me, Christian and, um, and Matty Stevens. And obviously, that one's been broken up now, which is it's another obstacle um, to overcome. Um, but there's no point in wasting too much time on any of the negativity or anything like that because there has been plenty of that here for I suppose the last couple of seasons so you know I know about it and I have to deal with it and park it and and stick it in a box somewhere else and then um, try and get a positive vibe in and around the club. You bought Ty Somato on quite early in the second half. Yeah. He played great and went to game plan as well. Yeah. Um, yeah well looks you know sometimes your substitutes work don't they and sometimes they don't. So, you know, the picture that you're seeing before he comes on, you hope that it goes to plan, that picture. Um, I, th I certainly think that um, it gave them a different problem. Um, and that's what we needed to do. We needed to shape the game a little bit. Because I thought the game was just... wasn't necessarily going anywhere, but I thought that they were better than us until that. So... Yeah, well, well done to Tyrese as well. Because he's a player that you, you we talked about before, really do man manage, and he needs it, and he's responding as well. You see it on the pitch. Um, <coughs> well, they all need man managing. Excuse me, <coughs> they all need man managing, and and sometimes it's, you know, man managing. Sometimes people differently. They're not all the same. So some respond to a kick at the backside, and some respond to cuddling and cajoling. And um, yeah, you know, I I always. Um, I always stick up for the players, um, I always do that, I always have done, um, so yeah. The referee got the crowd going, which might have helped, what are your view first on the penalty for a morsel? Yeah, it was a penalty, yeah, I've got no qualms about that. What, what I actually, when I look at it, 
I didn't really want Kyle um, to perhaps have the pass because I've got a better picture of, than, than he's got from the touchline and I'm thinking, oh, you know, hook that one clear. But look, you know, he, he more than made up for it um, by sticking away the penalty because, it, you know, there's a lot of pressure on Kyle there when he steps up for that penalty. So, you know, it, it was a great clean sheet by our guys today and they worked really, really hard for that clean sheet. And the Robson penalty judged the giveaway? Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a penalty, isn't it? So, you know, I don't, I don't have any qualms on, on the penalties today that, that, that the referee gave. I think that when we, when we got our penalty after he'd given them one, I think it was pretty difficult for him to not give ours. Um, I thought, I thought he was okay today, the referee. Um, uh, I think there was a few things in the first half that didn't go our way. That's when we need the crowd. That's when we need the crowd. And at full time, you, you seem to make the most effort I think you have all season, maybe not better away, to get the connectivity between yourself and the crowd. Well, I, I actually thought to myself sometimes when I, when I come off, I sort of, you know, one side of the ground we know is the opposition, and, and you sort of forget the fans down the other end, and you forget them in that corner, because you, what you do is you, you try not to, like, you know, it's definitely not lauding it when I do that. That is, that is 100% you know, something I wouldn't do, but I, I wanted to go down and thank them because, you know, they, they've had it tough here for nearly two years, but they're still here. And the more we can get and the louder they can be um, is the help that I need between now and the end of the season.